Hi, I'm Brian Fletcher and I'm an Olympian. Today I'm going to show you some exercises that help us Nordic Combined athletes prepare for competition. Okay, the exercise that I'm going to show you today is called the squat jump. We use this to prepare for competition uh, in Nordic Combined and the squat jump really helps us on our takeoff power and um, really helps us be dynamic when we're coming on towards the end of the jump. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get yourself a stick because in Nordic Combined and in ski jumping we do not use our arms so you're going to try and take those out of the equation as much as possible. The second thing we're going to do is put your feet about shoulder width apart. This is a good neutral balanced position where your core is aligned and also approximately the width of a track of a ski jump. The second thing you're going to do is stand nice and tall, making sure your back is long, and you're going to slowly come down and you make sure you're in a nice balanced position, weight on the balls of your feet and the heel, and then you're going to come powerful back up. So in fast motion, it's going to look something like this. And again from the side, I'll show you. Now the thing you want to focus on with this is making sure that the reaction time from when you start slowing down at the bottom to coming back up is as fast as possible. And the second thing you're gonna to wanna to work on is making the push as long as possible so that your hips reach the highest point possible in the air. If you can do those two things correctly, you're gonna end up with a much better ski jump on the hill. Now we use these exercises all summer long and even in the winter. We'll typically do about three sets of five of each of these exercises uh, about twice a week just to make sure that we're nice and powerful and ready for competition on the jumps. All right, so here's the hops again. Just remember, focus on the quick turnaround and then the long push that you receive after the turnaround. Now the important thing, if you don't have a stick and can't do it with your, the stick on the shoulders, here's another way you can do it at home or on the road and get the same effect. You're just gonna to wanna to put your hands on your hips and make sure they stay there. Again, feet shoulder width apart, chest tall and long, and again, just go down and focus on the quick turnaround. Again, make sure the hands stay on the hips at all times. Okay, so now you have some exercises to prepare yourself for Nordic Combined. Whether you're an expert or a beginner, those exercises will help you reach your fullest potential. Thank you for watching and go Team USA.